Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today we're talking slings. This guy right here, which is the Contour Sling by Lunar Concepts. Let's start with, what is a Contour Sling? Well, it is a sling, and as the name would imply, there is a contour to it. It can either be ran as a two-point, or if you're one of those people, you could probably run it as a single-point sling also. But it is basically a sling that has a contour, so it is pretty much made for either a right-handed or predominantly left-handed shooter. I will say initially, I was a little skeptic when I first saw it. I first was introduced to it, actually met Mr. Moon, person behind Lunar Concepts. See that play on words there? At the Fayetteville, North Carolina 2018 tactical games. First tactical games I ran. And Ben Brown, who was competing in that one from Wiseman Company, he was running the sling. And I saw it, I'm like, okay, like, I don't know, but all right. But fast forward a while, and I actually had a chance to kind of play around with it a little bit at one point. I'm like, okay, like, kind of growing on me. And then finally I had an opportunity to run one of these guys. To that end, I actually ran it in the tactical games down in Texas, 2019. And I also ran it over the course of good solid, like three days of training, whether it's night classes, under nods, NVGs, stuff like that, or a bunch of vehicle classes, carbine classes with both Reston Group as well as Lead Fawcett Tactical, Dan Brokos, at the Shooter Symposium 2019. So. I've actually got a fair amount of time behind it, and coming away from it, I do. I like it. First and foremost, for me personally, big selling point is the adjustment method. I've gotten to the point, I've got kind of spoiled with slings, but I have no time for cams, locks, any of that stuff. I don't want to have to move something in a certain direction in order to be able to manipulate my sling. If I want it looser, I just want to make it looser. If I want it tighter, I want to make it tighter. Don't want to deal with any other stuff. And to that end, this absolutely does that. This adjustment piece, simply pull it back, create space, forward to make it tighter. To that end also, as far as where this thing is, if you want to cinch it down, it'll stay in place. So if you're trying to create a really tight shooting position, the sling's not going to move on you. Or to that end also, again, if you have this thing and you want to basically tighten it up, stow it up against you because maybe you need to climb a rope, this, again, stays in place, keeps the weapon in whatever position you want with respect to how much tension you have in your sling, if that makes sense. Of course, as the name implies, we have the contour section. This being padded, about two inches wide, filled with a EVA foam, it's actually really comfortable and the way it's stitched you don't have a seam like just rubbing on your neck. It's actually pretty comfortable to wear whether you're wearing a t-shirt or if you have something more with a stock collar or a hood that's actually going to be in between your neck and the sling. Even in a t-shirt, things pretty comfortable. And again, going back to that contour, it actually rides really well. Of course, this one being made for a right-handed shooter. So it goes up, there's the contour, it goes back down my back. Regardless of if this thing's really tight or if it's loose, that contour sits on there nicely and being padded and wider distributes the weight some. I will say I ran with this a lot further than I would ever like to. I don't know, probably like two and a half, three miles or something during the games down in Texas. It was comfortable, as comfortable as it's going to be. I will say my neck wasn't really loving it because I'd absentmindedly ended up getting sunburnt a little bit that day before. And so, yeah, nothing feels good on sunburn. But as far as carrying a rifle comfortably, running over a number of miles, like if I was uncomfortable, it wasn't because of the sling. It was uncomfortable because I was running miles with a plate carrier carrying a weapon. Sling absolutely did its job. To include being able to cinch this down and negotiate obstacles, whether it was picking things up and carrying them or any other number of tasks that you kind of run into in the tactical games. Personally, I'm a big fan of two-point slings as long as they're able to be easily manipulated. 
That allows you to create space to manipulate your weapon or if you need to, cinch it up, create a really tight shooting position or maybe just stow your weapon. Is there anywhere that this kind of falls short? There is and it's totally situational and honestly, the sling is probably good for like 95% of the people out there. The only place I will say this is kind of lacking is if you're gonna go ahead and switch shoulders to shoot from your support side and you wanna end up shooting over off this, it's a right-handed sling. Consequently, the way it's set up with that contour kind of wants to choke you. I ran into that down at the Shooter Symposium we're doing a bunch of positional stuff to include off of our support side, and I found it lacking. Having said that, does it work? Absolutely it works. It's just one of those things where you need to be aware of it. You need to make sure you have enough space so that you can like comfortably move this thing over so you don't end up choking yourself like trying to get into a shooting position. Again, I will say that is very small, very niche, as much as people want to train and be a ninja and yeah, I'm really great shooting support side blah, blah. Okay, cool. Like if you are, that's awesome. A lot of people never even dabble in it, but will it work if you do dabble in it? Yes, it will. Just something you need to be aware of. Lastly, something else I do really appreciate about this sling is the fact that it comes with really long tails made so that you can basically adjust this to put it on pretty much whatever weapon you want to put on and still have plenty of room so you can kind of play with it get it to where it's like okay this is kind of the optimal length that i need that i want at that point go ahead and cut it and basically melt those ends and you're good to go also it uses tri-glides what that allows is pretty much whatever attachment method you want whether it's some sort of qd or pretty much anything else right here attached to the back of a SBA 3 brace by SB Tactical. You can do anything with it to include just basically creating a loop with the webbing through a tri-glide and attach it with 550 cord. Like pretty much any attachment method out there, it allows you to use that attachment method for your sling, which I really like. That coupled with the fact that you have really long ends so no matter what your weapon is, or no matter how tall you are, how short you are, rather than being like, oh, I don't have enough adjustment here, whatever the situation, you can get it adjusted and then go ahead and cut, melt it, you're good to go. Basically a custom fit sling for your weapon. If you wanna pick up one of these contour slings, you can do so over at Wiseman Company. There'll be a link down below. These things are pretty cool. They come in pretty much every color. All your standard fare to include all the different flavors of multicam, I believe some Cryptex and stuff as well. And depending on your needs, this will probably suit you really well. You can pick them up either left-handed or right-handed, right around 45 bucks. As I mentioned, that one place where this maybe doesn't lend itself as the ideal in fairness though, no sling is super comfortable to basically shoot support side. This one though, happen to be padded, happen to have a contour, adds another level of difficulty in there. Does it matter? 99% of the shooters, absolutely not. This thing does a great job. And honestly, if you're that 1%, thing still works fine. Just make sure that before you cut your tail, you have enough adjustment so that you can move this thing over to your support shoulder without choking yourself. But if you pick one up, let me know what it does for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.